Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So uh, we're back with the Speedster here, of course, and in the last video, you saw me install um, the master cylinder there for the brake pedal. So you can see the brake pedal uh, works nicely now. Um, and I kind of teased that this week I would be making some, some um, remote reservoirs for it. Um, the reservoirs that came with it are these stupid plastic things. Um, and you know, of course, you know, a little hose comes out the bottom there that you connect to and that outlet's down there. And you know, I had a couple options with this. Um, the most convenient place to put these is, you know, on the outside of the firewall here. Then you can like very easily access them and all that, but of course it just looks terrible out here like that. Um, I could, could put these on the inside there to sort of hide the plastic, um, but then it's like really hard to get to and you know, you can't really access the caps of them easily if you have to refill it or anything. Um, so that's kind of dumb as well. So I decided that I'm gonna mount them on the firewall here on the outside, but I'm not using these dumb plastic things. Instead, I made this beautiful piece of stainless steel here. And these are the reservoirs here. And they will bolt, you know, somewhere in there for the, uh, the brake fluid. So you can see all custom machined, welded together. So I'm gonna show you in this video um, how I made this beautiful piece here. So um, enjoy the video and thanks for watching. So after I cut out the bodies for the, the reservoirs there out of just some stainless steel tubing, I switched gears here and now I'm starting to make the caps for the cylinders there. And so I'm starting by just cutting a blank there out of a piece of, I think that's 3 eighths of an inch stainless steel. And then after I drilled a hole in there, I could put a bolt in and chuck it up in the lathe like this. And then that allows me to easily turn down the outside diameter to a nice precise size. And this is a method I've used a number of times before, and it works really well when you're starting out with just a, a flat piece of stock, uh, as long as you don't mind having that extra hole in the center for the bolt you have to put in. And to make the caps a little bit more easy to grip, you can see here what I'm doing is I'm cutting some grooves in around the outside edge using this small little turntable. And I've used this for this sort of purpose a number of times. Um, the turntable is pretty small, but it does have an indexing ring on it so you can turn it a precise number of degrees in between each cut, which comes in really handy here. And it's kind of old and clapped out. That's why I have this, this extra step clamp on top of the cap there. So I'm loosening that and then clamping it down in between each cut just so that the turntable itself doesn't wobble on me, which it definitely would if I didn't have that, that extra clamping force there.
And so here now you can kind of see how it goes together. Um, I've used this concept a couple of times in the past as well. Um, all it really is is just the cap is essentially a bolt and the, a nut in the form of the cross piece that gets welded into um, the side of the reservoir there. And this is just, I just did it this way because it's a lot easier than trying to cut very fine threads on the outside of the actual reservoir and on the inside of the cap there because I can just use my standard um, tap and die set for this. And once this is welded up and polished, you can't even tell the difference uh, from the outside anyways. Okay, so I got this little bracket here. This is what I'm going to um, weld the little reservoirs to um, so I can bolt it to the firewall of the car. And you can see I have this um, set up on this little wooden jig here. And that's so that I can very easily position these um, right onto there like that. And then that very easily and accurately locates um, both reservoirs, make sure they're symmetric about the, like the, the bolt pattern of the bracket here and should be able to weld those on fairly easily. And so now that those are all welded up, one of the last steps here is to add a vent to the top of each of the reservoirs so that they can actually drain fluid down to um, the master cylinder. And for that I used this really small um, piece of stainless steel tubing here and drilled a hole in the top of the, the caps there. And then I'll weld those in and you can see it's pretty much just a U-shaped tube that comes out um, on the top of the caps there. And it's shaped like a U of course so that air can still get in but it will prevent like you know 99.9% .9 of the debris that would get in there if you just had a, a tube come straight up. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video there. Um, I know I certainly had a lot of fun making these nice little um, remote reservoirs. Um, and to me, this is, this is what makes this whole project so much fun, is the little details like this. Um, of course, it, it could be easy to just um, bolt on these plastic reservoirs that came with the, the master cylinder. Um, but, you know, I'm almost 
four years into this project right now and um, at no point over any of those four years, including now, am I going to take that kind of shortcut um, to take the easy route and, you know, do something that'll just, that'll just easy and just works. Um, putting all that extra time and effort into making something like this that's just actually beautiful is, is what I enjoy so much about um, this build here. And I hope you can appreciate that too. So this will be mounted to the firewall here. I don't know exactly where yet. Um, I wasn't going to commit to actually mounting it at this point quite yet because um, I'm going to have a, a mechanical throttle pedal that's bolted to the inside of the firewall here and then runs along the outside here because um, the, the um, carburetors and throttle linkage is on the passenger side of the engine here. So um, I didn't want to mount this anywhere before I knew where all those linkages and stuff would be. Um, I could mount this up here and have those those tubes, those hoses run sort of down and under somehow, but the pedals are kind of in the way there. Um, the alternative is to mount it on the opposite side here and have those hoses come down under the transmission and then to the uh, massive cylinder. And I think that's probably actually going to be the easier um, way of doing that. Um, but either way, um, I'll, I'll mount it whenever I get to that point, um, but it was a lot of fun making this and Hope you enjoyed it too. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.